Hi beautiful people and welcome to Why We Believe. The word of God says in Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death. I'm Sherwin. And I'm Rhonda. And today we have no stranger to the set, Pastor Philip Reed yes. and Sister Gino Diet. But before we actually get into this, very interesting and powerful testimony. Hmm. Let's open with a word of prayer. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you again for this opportunity, this privilege, Lord, to further your gospel. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. We pray, Father, that today that your Holy Spirit be with us. We pray that you would take control, take away any anxiety, nervousness, Lord, Father, and we ask that your Holy Spirit search deep, search our hearts, Lord mm -hmm. Father, and try our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And we pray even that when we speak today, Lord Father, this testimony would go far and wide. Yes, Lord. And touch the hearts and minds of those hearing. Mm -hmm. We pray that it would truly bring uh, some peace within their soul. So bless us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let me say for sure. Yeah. I am I am always impressed when a pastor is willing to give his testimony. All so right. Pastor Reed, thank you no. for allowing the Lord to use you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Gina, how are you today? I'm blessed. Thank you. Yeah, lovely here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> she has Amen. what you call good here. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Gina is my understudy. Okay. Understood. I'm hoping yeah. if I were to leave this world, Gina will be one of the person who will continue. Hmm. Um, she with Gwen and Abby. Amen. Yes. Okay. Again, Pastor, you know, it's it's always a pleasure when, when you come here. Um we have had several questions being asked us, which we have to throw to you. <laughs> about demonic activities, demonic counterfeit. You know, anything that has to do with demons taking over individuals. And we know that you have a lot of um, history in experience, dealing with that yeah, experience, right, yeah. with showing experience with dealing with those sort of stuff. So um, in giving your testimony, let, let's start there. Let's okay. start with some of the experiences that you had. Okay. My testimony has to do with my encounter with demons counterfeiting biblical and prophetic experiences in our times. Mm -hmm. Can I read for me, for example, read Matthew 24 to 24. When Jesus spoke of our times, he gave a warning. Mm -hmm. All right, the well known text says that there, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets mm -hmm. and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they mm -hmm. shall deceive the very elect. Mm -hmm. My testimony would stand true to that text. The devil can only try to deceive those who expect mm. the prophetic gift to be displayed. If you do not expect prophetic gifts 
ever again in the church, the devil cannot deceive you with counterfeit because mm -hmm. you wouldn't be concerned at all. Mm -hmm. I want to read Joel, you know, read Joel 2, 28 to, to 32. I expect, I expect God to work in marvelous ways in these days. In fact, I heard someone say that Ellen White was the last person to get vision. I don't know where he got it from. Hmm. She herself wrote, expressing her longing for Joel 2 to meet its real fulfillment in the last days. Mm -hmm. She said it only met its partial fulfillment on the day of Pentecost. The work of God is to exceed Pentecost. Yeah, yeah. So we expect God to do some marvelous things. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Don't know how we'll work. Hear what Joel says. Mm -hmm. Joel 2 from verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yeah. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Mm -hmm. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Mm -hmm. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, will I pour out my spirit mm. and I will show wonders in the heaven and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Amen. shall be delivered. Amen. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord had said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I've done some, quite some research on that because I hate to be wrong. <laughs> but the Bible and the writings of Ellen G. White, I can guarantee 99% of the things I would say. I'm supported by scripture and by inspiration. Mm -hmm. So that this is not just a case where it's not speaking but Ellen White, one person. Mm -hmm. Handmaids, men, women. It's a situation where a great number of God's children in the last days will have divine encounter with God. Yeah. That's what the closing scene will demand. Mm -hmm. In fact, Ellen White says, he will bless his workers with a wisdom above the devil. Mm. We are coming to a time when to make it we will have to have the wisdom of God. Hmm. Hmm. And she says, when the dust is settled, it will be seen not many great men would be in that army. Hmm. Hmm. Not many men who have been trained by earthly institution, but the majority of the workers would be trained by God himself. Hmm. An angel. In fact, I read somewhere where, where LMI says, angels are anxiously waiting for human instruments through which they will work to finish the work. Yeah. 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 Just as our men would be fully imbued by the devil hmm. to express his thoughts and his beliefs and his sinister plans, so we'll be used by God. We have to go day by day until that point when we are totally consumed by God. Yeah. Elamai says in those days, when God's servants speak, those who listen will be hearing the voice of God himself. Mm. We'll be so united to God. Bless the Lord. I never thought I'd be sharing this experience. Mm. Hmm. I'm a very sensitive person in terms of people. I'd rather take blows, but I won't give you any. Right. So you will do me the worst thing and I will take it. I will not defend myself. Mm -hmm. And God has taught me not to defend myself. You know, in my lift model, I have an area that deals with the lift cool. hands in principle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your hands, you. God's, God hands, and no hands. Mm. You can take matters into your own hands, retaliate, 
you can put matters in God hand. I, someone sent me a statement recently. When you put your business in God's hands, mm -hmm. he puts his hands in your business. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and no hands. The people who fall apart emotionally are those who employ no hands. They do not, nothing, just they, they give up. Hmm. Those who take matters in their own hands, those who, ang who are angry, un unforgiving, retaliate, right? And those who put their matters in God's hand, wait on the Lord. Mm, I never yeah. thought that I would have a forum hmm. to share this testimony. Hmm. I never even thought I would share it. <laughs> but I'm amazed at, at, at my composure. <laughs> I'm saying things tonight that is ground breaking for me. Hmm. I have no form of intimidation or fear. And I believe it's divine. Yeah, man. I believe God wants me to share it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it was sparked by the constant attack of Ellen G. White. Just this week, it popped up on my phone. A guy who attacked her. Mm -hmm. And they're all Adventist professors and scholars. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that higher education can often be a curse hmm. we'll see. to God's children. We'll see. I've seen pastors who were humble pastors in their churches, went, up, went and become doctors, and they're no longer what they used to be. Hmm. In fact, uh, a pastor who I looked up to when I was a young guy at CUC, he was doing his studies, graduated, very humble. Married a friend of mine in Tobago. Move on and got his doctorate. Mm. And wrote a book claiming that the earth is millions of years old. Mm. Wow. Mm. When the Bible says it's easier for a camel to go through the eyes of a needle, that's a, a little gate in Jerusalem where the sheep, where the uh, shepherd would pass uh, the sheep one by one to attend to them, than for a rich man to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. Richness here is not only in material things, rich hmm. in academic competence, hmm. scholarly qualification. I have seen that the higher some of us go, is the less relevant we become and the less available to God. Read Revelation 19.10. I grew up being schooled that the spirit of prophecy is the identifying mark of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if Ellen White can be sidestepped and refuted and ostracized mm -hmm. and removed, the Adventist movement will be in serious trouble. Yeah. We have to find somebody else. Mm -hmm. Read for me Revelation 19.10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. Amen. Read Revelation 12, 17. That text was played to me over and over again the moment I entered the church. If I was an active pastor, I would go over all the historical evidence of the calling of Ellen White to all my church members because we are losing respect for her writing. Mm -hmm. And those who have not lost respect, they don't quote her because people don't want to hear her. Mm. Ellen White says, the time to get hot is when everything around you is cold. Mm -hmm. Revelation 12, 17 says, And a dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, mm -hmm. which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And what is the testimony of Jesus Christ? The spirit, spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. So if the critics have their way and they can silence Ellen White, in fact, I'm counseling a man right now who gave up his church office because he no longer believes in Ellen White. Mm -hmm. He had been listening to these people. Mm -hmm. 
and he's harassed by demons. Hmm. Although I try to counsel him to revisit um, his belief system, right? He's having a hard time. It's difficult to counsel him because he has moved away and it's dem demonic. I, I make no apologies. All the attack against this godly woman of God is demonic. It's of the devil, mm -hmm. not of God. She's accused of being a cult leader like Jim Jones and mm -hmm. David Kukurish, <laughs> a thief, embezzler, con artist, plagiarist, liar, mentally sick and deranged. This put me on to, to be brave. And I experienced a, a level of bravery that def defy my, my own senses. Hmm. And I believe we are on the fringes of the Earth's most momentous hour. I believe that Jesus is coming as nearer than we would want to think. Yeah. And that the final movement will be the rapid ones. ones. Mm -hmm. I believe that God will take this testimony far and wide. It was given to me as a pastor. It was given to me, not for me, but for the church. The Bible bears me evidence that nothing that has to do with the play and counterplay of light versus darkness was ever hidden by God. True. When you hide it, you protect the devil. Mm. Okay. Look at when the you devil, hide what true. Satan did, true. you give him a tree to, to do it again yeah. and true. to deceive more people. Mm -hmm. But when you share it, you make them wise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's my biggest motive for sharing this. Okay. God has impressed me by sharing it. You will help church members, even help pastors, conference mm -hmm. president, how to deal with the claims, of prophetic gifts. In the midst of my most meaningful and successful pastoral experience, a young, beautiful, intelligent woman. At the time, Sabbath school superintendent, Sabbath school secretary, married with one son, began having visions. At that very time, I was crying out to God for help. All my church services were interfered with by evil spirits. Mm -hmm. The young man who came here today, his brother, the one who drove my car, never drove before for three hours. Hmm. I said, God, I need deliverance from these constant demonic encounters mm -hmm. all night. Pray. I began to lose weight. My pants was falling off my waist. Mm -hmm. A senior sister told my wife, talk to your husband. At that time, my wife was close to me in ministry. Mm -hmm. She's still close. I say I would if I close. Mm -hmm. It's a saying. Behind every successful man is a good woman. A true saying, mm -hmm. Pastor. Mm -hmm. You don't see her often. <laughs> but the work my wife has done on my heart and my soul is enough. Mm -hmm. If ever God chose a woman for a man, he chose my wife. I wouldn't be here if I didn't marry the girl I married. Hmm. I wouldn't be here. I was asking God to shorten these sessions. People were being possessed. They were delivered, gave their testimonies, and within weeks, they possessed again. There was no longevity to the success story of people who were set free. Thank God, it was the only time in my experience when my wife took over the cooking. <laughs> and my diet was top of the line. <laughs> God moves in a mysterious way, says wonders to perform. Amen. For that period, our eating was as perfect as it can be. Nothing unnatural or possessed. Mm. I cook. Cook a storm a few days ago for my wife. Mm. And she still eats healthier than I am. She said, honey, you're getting old. Um, eat like, like I do. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, get in there. <laughs> the woman experience was in the context of LNG White. It seemed as though Joel 2, 28 to 32 had begun to experience its most meaningful fulfillment. Mm. In hindsight, it seemed that God permitted the devil to answer my prayer for help. Hmm. A young man asked God for a wife. There's a certain sister that used to come to church very early. He had his eyes on her. He said, God, I'm going to church early. And the first sister who come to church will be my wife. <laughs> that Sabbath, she was late. <laughs> oh, boy. And a senior sister with a walking stick came in. Pack a duck, pack. He said, no, Lord, not that one. <laughs> it seemed to me in my 55 years as a Seventh-day Adventist that God oftentimes allow the devil to have his first shot. Hmm. So you women out there who are looking for a husband and vice versa, the first person may not be the right one. Mm-hmm. Maybe the counterfeit. Hmm. Because we can learn a lot from the counterfeit. Yeah. Especially with women who are vulnerable, who never had a, a real father-daughter relationship. Mm-hmm. They can be impulsive, seeking love in all the wrong places, don't know who is the right one, and so God may allow them to learn the hard way mm. before he sends the right one. The young woman suddenly began having visions about the life history of my counselees. Hmm. The first one, she said, Pastor, I had a vision of this woman you're counseling. I saw her being physically abused in a bus station in Port of Spain when she was seven years old around there. Mm-hmm. She was then over 20. I would question them to see how truthful the vision was. Mm-hmm. It was on target. Mm-hmm. With tears in her eyes, she reported an incident where her mother flogged her in broad daylight and the shame is still there. Then I was counseling a superintendent from a certain church. She was a district nurse, highly professional woman. She got visions on that woman. Pastor, I got visions on this woman. Her childhood, her her marriage, how things are going. This was one of the most difficult demonic encounter I had. Hmm. Remember one night in a certain church, an elder was there with me and he was snowing on his knees. I said, brother, you can go and sleep. He said, no, pastor, I will stand with you until the lights go out. (laughs) All night we pray for that, that woman. She was the church superintendent. Mm -hmm. And ever so often, the demons will take her over. Mm -hmm. She will abandon her superintendent role, go outside by a rock of stone and stone down the church. We had an interview sometime today. I believe the enemy took a hold of this, this young man, just like this woman. Mm-hmm. He can use, he may have had some, some, some sex struggle, maybe masturbating, mm-hmm. right? The devil would use that. Mm-hmm. Ellen White said the demonic, the demonic of Gadara was steeped in idleness and masturbation. That's the point on which he was possessed with legions of devil. He mm-hmm. said once in cherishing the life, can make you chained by a demonic power that the yeah. only grace of God can. Eventually, she overcame. She was still in the church because her husband was very condemning of her. Mm-hmm. And to condemn her, he will use LNG White. Mm-hmm. Your dress, your diet. The devil used a situation where a woman's husband, being the first elder, was hurting her. And he used that to create that venom against the church to the point where she can abandon her role while mm-hmm. performing. Mm-hmm. 
and stone down the church. Mm -hmm. One Sabbath, she said, Pastor, I have a vision about a member of this church. He's mm -hmm. here right now, a policeman. He said he's very ill. He doesn't know, know it. Counsel him to go see a doctor immediately. Not later, not, she said, he will try to go on Monday with a Sabbath. He must go today. Mm -hmm. I call him outside. Remember, I was asking God for help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Satan knew the grounds upon which he was harassing God's and, God's and children and used it to trap me. Yeah. Because he knew that God would eventually lead me there. Because he heard my prayer, I'm asking God for help. Mm hmm Elmai says he hears our prayers. He watches over our sermons. And he goes to the homes where there are people who are most in need of the sermon and cause distraction so they would not be in church. Mm -hmm. That's why he's against her writing. She unmasked him as no writer ever done. Yeah, yeah, true. I counsel him. He said, Pastor, I'll go on Monday. I said, go today. Mm -hmm. He went today. And his sugar level was at a height, doctor told him, hadn't you come, you could have been a dead man. <laughs> he was a diabetic and did not know it. Mm -hmm. And quite a lot of this. Pastor, before you go on, I just yes. want to get some context in case mm -hmm. a viewer may not understand what is going on. So you're telling us about someone that is in the church who is saying that they have the gift. A of, prophetic gift. A prophetic gift to know. And God is revealing to them these things. And they are coming to you. Right. Right. She, she had visions of going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Describing heaven. She had visions of going to where Ellen White lives. Mm. And would describe her surrounding. Was on target. The trees in her yard. What, what plant she had. I'll say more. Just hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <they need> <laughs> She claimed that God had chosen her to help me in my ministry. To be honest, initially, I believed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Satan often starts you off on common ground. Mm. He starts where you will accept. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. True. Hmm. You are not deceived by the devil until you begin to accept his direction contrary to scripture and your own conviction of truth. Mm -hmm. If a demon comes and tells you Sabbath is Saturday and you said yes, you are not deceived. If a demon comes and tells you Ellen White is a prophet, you are not deceived. Mm -hmm. Does he know those things to be true? Follow me as I give my testimony. Mm -hmm. You'll see how the devil will begin to shift when he thinks he has you covered. This testimony is for all of us, all pastors. I hope you listen. Mm -hmm. Conference president mm -hmm. around the globe. Mm -hmm. It was a phenomenon. Mm -hmm. She got vision one day about someone who was assisting me in demonic encounter mm. that he should not be with me mm -hmm. i said if god gave you a vision about this man go and give it to him and this brother was mad mm. got a group of influential people and took me to the, the conference office mm. that i believe in a false prophet they called me up i had nothing to hide my practice was, if God is doing something, I will share it with the senior brethren. Mm -hmm. I never heard what was happening in my district. In fact, I asked the conference to help me and, and counsel me. Mm -hmm. To the point where the president then wrote the BRI, the British, the, 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 the Andrews, the, the, the General Conference Research Department mm -hmm. to send documents on the demonic activities. And they send a copy, and they sent me a copy. It was a time when 
I was under heavy attack for what was happening in the district. Mm -hmm. Many pastors did not know what to think, what to say. Mm. And so I was the subject of much criticism. In fact, it was difficult to go to the conference office, except on PD. Mm. Mm. One Bible worker was still in the conference said, Pastor, I'm praying for you. He said, I don't know how to help you. I don't know what to say, but I believe you love the Lord. Mm. He said, I had to address a group of pastors. They were under the climate tree in the conference here, they called it the university. And the topic was you. And I said, ministers, I know this pastor. I know he loves God. And if he's deceived, God will reveal it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this added to that. Not only is demons proliferating, now there's a prophet in this district. Hmm. A certain pastor warned his board against me coming to the church for fear that I would put demons on them. Within weeks, he called me. In fact, before he called me, I was driving one day through Grandy and I saw his car shut down. Mm -hmm. I said, thank you, Lord. I stopped. I helped him. <laughs> Throughout my life, I've never had to defend myself. God has always vindicated my suffering. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, he called me. He said, Pastor, I need your help in my district. Why would a pastor who warned his church board of me coming mm -hmm. would call me for help? He said, one of my members is seeing her dead husband coming to the home. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to handle it. Another one is having a snake coming to her home and threatening her. Mm. And when she pray, it goes. Mm. That same woman had a run with, with, with chicken, white chicken. Woke up this morning and all the chicken had crossed eyes. I watched them all walking, all of them. She was recently baptized and did not part with her old belief mm -hmm. involving snake worship. Mm -hmm. So I counsel her on that, how to make a commitment. I left. It never happened again. The woman who was seeing her dead husband, I studied with her on the dead, the seat of the dead. Mm -hmm. I said, that man you see coming is not your husband. She said, Pastor, he come. He looked like my husband. All these things are predicted in my writing. It will happen. Mm -hmm. People will come to us mm -hmm. as departed loved ones, as even maybe pastors we know, claiming that this has changed. Mm. I said, that being is the devil. Mm. When next he comes, ask him in Jesus' name, are you my husband or the devil? But he never showed up because hmm. he takes advantage of what you have in your head. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many get baptized yeah. and never part with the former beliefs in total. Yes. It may be the, the, the lodge. Mm -hmm. It may be your, your former religious beliefs. In the height of this encounter, I was transferred to Rio Claro. I sent the president wanted to move me away from the firing line, hmm. which, which, which is why mm -hmm. he was shocked when I said, I'm going. I said, Pastor, you sure you want to go to your club? Remember your wife is traveling from Topo to the wharf. She woke on the wharf then. Mm -hmm. Leave early morning, we will be worse, you know. I said, Elder, I promise the Lord, wherever he send me, I'm going. Yeah. Because in my mind, this experience was not mine. Mm -hmm. It wasn't oh. for me. Yeah. If it's of God, it's for the church. Yeah. So I didn't have to stay there to, to monitor the experience. Hmm. Because of the distance, I introduced this young lady to the then conference secretary. Hmm. Who then was my only ministerial support. Hmm. I love him. I respect him. Of the finest administrator this conference would ever know. 
Hmm. He would call us as young and turn into his, into his office and brief us on all the benefits that we have, that we can claim. Yeah. Only person who, who did that. I made claims that he brought to my attention. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying the others hid it, yeah. but he made sure yeah. every advantage due to a young pastor, he should have it. Right. He was a model and still is. I told him, I'm counseling her on her life. Mm -hmm. I said, this woman is having visions. And I'm not focusing on the vision. Mm -hmm. I'm focusing on her life. Her marriage. So continue counseling there. But evidences are clear that he focused on the vision, mm -hmm. which is obvious because that's why I focused initially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, I must say at that point in time, God afforded me angelic communication mm -hmm. and I thank God for it. I don't know where I would have been if God didn't intervene to help me. Mm -hmm. The angel never told me it was a deception. Mm -hmm. What did you told me? Test everything. Test me. Test the young lady. Prove all things faster and hold fast that which is good. Mm -hmm. He focused on her vision. I told him, I said, she said, Pastor, if the young lady's experience of God, her life would be most important. Mm -hmm. Staying close to God. If it's not, her life would be important. If it's a devil keeping close to God, he will deliver her. Mm -hmm. If it's of God, Keeping close to God will authenticate the vision. Mm -hmm. I hope my listeners are picking up these things in dealing with the community because there's a tendency, which would be more so now because of the attack of Andrew White, for administrators and conference leaders to be very negative towards any prophetic claim. Mm -hmm. And that's one of Satan's hope. Either he deceives you mm -hmm. or blinds you to the genuine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other words, Throw the baby out with the bath water. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that this is working quite well. Mm. I had a crusade in Skyland in cinema. The woman would call me and give vision. The pastor and I would concur. He would tell me of, of, of vision. I'm meeting quite some personal things, folks. Mm -hmm. Right? I've asked the Lord for wisdom how to share a testimony. And at the point in time she called, I was concerned with the crusade. There were certain areas, people won't come in, and I wasn't sure the Bible workers were effective. She said, Pastor, areas so and so and so and so are not effective. God says to change the Bible workers because Satan knew that. Mm -hmm. So his aim was to captivate me. Mm -hmm. The drama began when she began to complain to me and the support at the conference office that I was hindering the work of God by not focusing <coughs> on the vision. Mm. He said, Pastor, time is short. God is coming. The vision was designed to captivate me and to hypnotize me. Yeah. Wow. She had visions of me in heaven. Mm. All of visions to heaven, I was there. Devil was silently working on my pride. Mm. She never once saw my wife in heaven. Hmm. Remember one day I asked, I said, You never saw my wife? They said, I guess she's somewhere in the crowd, but I saw you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Remember sometime when I'm praying for people who are demon possessed? Devil said, Pastor, we, you want enough? Go and call Pastor Dutton. Go and call so and so. Playing on my psyche. Mm -hmm. It's not me or Pastor Dotting, it's the Lord. Exactly. She said to me, when the devil realizes he has you, mm -hmm. he changes gear. When he realizes he may lose you, he also changes gear. Mm, he becomes desperate. If he has you, he turns on the pressure. Remember, prior to that, she would get visions that were inconsistent to, to my belief. Right. I would talk to my wife and we will question it. Mm -hmm. She told me one time, she got vision that, that, that I 
I should reduce my portion of meal. My wife, in those days, had a strange affinity to Ellen White writing. She mm -hmm. said, when you watch this, Ellen White said, the quantity of food is important. That amount of food this woman got in vision is, 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 not, is, not, is not from God. Mm. Mm. She always questioned, but because of my belief, she would go along. And I would question the vision. Hmm. Every time the devil realized that he couldn't get me, he backed back. She said, she said Pastor, um, the Lord told me that I misinterpreted the, the vision. Wow. Huh. One time, a Pentecostal girl came for counseling. He said, Pastor, I saw in vision this young lady's child, you went in, right? And God says, you must give her a thorough anointing. She must be anointed nude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I questioned it too. I said, tell, I said, I'm not taking that, that, that vision. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Honesty in God's work, sincerity in spite of your humanness is indispensable. Yeah. She said, Pastor, um, I pray and God says, I misinterpret the vision. So every time I devil try to move her from yeah. truth to error and realize he didn't have me, came back. Yeah, it's a misinterpretation. Mm -hmm. So when he realized that he couldn't get me, by then she was having frequent vision with the conference secretary. Mm -hmm. He was keeping me abreast. Mm -hmm keeping me abreast he was he was he was to he was thinking of purchasing a property mm. she got a vision as to the exact cost before he got the cost and when the man told him the cost he said she's of god mm. so he was convinced the devil sensing that he may lose me that he's losing grounds came in the open. She got vision that my wife was unfaithful. <laughs> and she was with the driver who was taking her to the wharf from your club. I didn't have a car then. Mm -hmm. Taking money. She got vision that my wife's illness was demonic possession. And that I should not ask her if those things are true. I should tell her mm. what she's doing wrong. Boy, that was a challenge for me. Hmm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And she had told the secretary. And he told me, I must take the vision as it came. Hmm. I will only know what's going on if I take the vision as it was given. Here it is. The only man who knew this woman... Married her when she was only 17 years, just above 17. She was still bringing her paycheck home. Mm -hmm. I handle the, the finances. Mm -hmm. Like my father did. My father handled the finances. And he would buy things as needed. I did the same thing. Mm -hmm. I would buy groceries as needed. I used to want to have money in my pocket all the time. I grew up poor. We call this... You know, reaction formation. You never had for when you have you want to. Yeah, all on the, yeah. So the bills are always be part of the bills. Part past that. <laughs> One time they, they cut my light, shame like a dog because I ain't pay all the bills. <laughs> Wife said, honey, I've grown up now, enough is enough. I'll take over the first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good wife. Good wife. <laughs> my heart went through a terrifying moment when my wife decided come hell high waters all the bills are going to be paid and groceries made for the month and we survive on very little that was hard for me but i thank god she did Amen. Mm. Hmm. i said lord taking money for man uh, god will give us wisdom about the devil hmm. she used to dress very well because i design her clothes mm -hmm. She said, your wife, your wife is possessed with the demons of elegance. Hmm? Hmm. Demon of elegance. And the secretary believed it because he believes she's a prophet. Mm -hmm. I'm not vexed with him. 
if you believe someone is used by God, anything she says, yeah, you, you accept it. Accept. Yeah. Yeah. I was never angry with him up, up until now. Because at the time I, 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 I had believed, when the enemy began to attack my marriage, so I went home, and I said I was having angelic communication. I said, Lord, how to handle this one? Mm -hmm. The angel told me, Pastor, tell your wife the visions. Now the prophet, so-called prophet said, no. tell her what she's doing wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If in hindsight, I pick up these leading from God. Right. Never told me she was of the devil. He wouldn't do that. All he said, prove all things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the time, I used to visit her home every so often. The angel said, let her come to your home. She used to come to my home in Rio Claro. Mm. We used to study and Bible said, keep close to her. Counsel her on her life, her closeness to God, and her marriage. My wife and she said, honey, let's pray. Tears in her eyes. She cried that day, Lord, if I'm possessed, reveal it to me. Mm. If my illness is of a demonic nature, Reveal it to me. Yes. We ended the prayer and she says, Honey, I'm not demon possessed. I'm ill. There's medical, but I'm ill. Okay. I prayed about it. No communication with the angel. I had to work it on my own. I mm -hmm. pray, I pray, I pray. And I was deeply impressed that this was a counterfeit. Hmm. I went to her home, sat down in her home and said, Sister so and so, I, your, your visions concerning my wife were not from God. Mm -hmm. hmm. I've experienced none of the headache some men experience in, in marriage, mm -hmm. none whatsoever. Who I am today, what I do today, I owe it tremendously to an earthly support in my wife. Mm. For the enemy targeted an area of my experience that was difficult for me to buy. Mm -hmm. And God allowed him to, to attack, attack me there. Mm -hmm. She said, okay, Pastor, if you say so, um, I, I come to me and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I realized that that, that wasn't genuine. Mm -hmm. Because then the secretary told me after that, Pastor, I no longer believe in your ministry. Mm. You have rejected the prophet and God has rejected you. Mm. He was the one ministerial support I had during my most difficult ministerial years. When that goodly pastor told me that, I felt that my head was spinning. Mm. The world around me was caving in. I said, Pastor, um, can you help me? Can you counsel me? Because mm -hmm. throughout my journey, I questioned whether I was deceived or whether I was genuine. Right. I questioned it. Yeah. And when this happened, I was like a boxer in a ring about to take the count. Hmm. I cried out to God. And he strengthened me. I said, Pastor, I baptize this woman. I know her experience. Take my counsel. This is a counterfeit. Mm -hmm. I said, Pastor, I believe in the experience. I believe it's of God. Mm. And I've lost faith in you. you. For you have rejected the prophet. Let's imagine a pastor only five or six years in ministry hearing this from his employer. Quite some things occurred. He was the chairman of the ordination committee. Mm. I walked into two ordination services and saw pastors who were younger than me in ministry, doing less than me ordained, oh, and I wasn't ordained. Mm. I went to collect my, my bonus on two straight occasions. Maybe I gave a bonus. And the quantity was reduced to that of a lesser worker. It was so painful, 
I only go to conference office to draw my paycheck. Mm -hmm. During that time in Rio Claro, I was doing a crusade in Skyland Cinema. My decision to refute the experience brought on the attack of the devil. My house was infested with birds. All night, they, my, my wife was ailing. Mm -hmm. I was up with crusade. I began to suffer almost an over breakdown. Birds were making noise all night. We could not sleep. <laughs> the house became infested with huge spider, big as my hand. One night, I, one was in the bathroom. I took a broom and I hit it. It fell outside. I rushed outside. I saw no spider. <laughs> Scorpion, wife and I were shelling peas one, one carnival Sunday night. And she screamed. When I watched one large scorpion in the bowl of peas, the, the bowl almost was finished with the peas. Where it came from, only heaven knows. <laughs> Rats, roaches, no water in the top. Colin Wasa. They came, did everything. They said, Sir, it's a mystery to us. Everybody in your area is receiving pipe bone water except you. One night, in deepest desperation, I sat on my step in Rio Claro. I said, Lord, send me water. And went to bed. No rain fell. No water in the line. All my tanks were filled up. Hmm. Hmm. I've been asking the conference to to transfer because of my wife's health. Mm -hmm. The district doctor wrote the conference a letter. He said he was a traveling officer, as a doc young doctor, and it's difficult to travel from Rio Claro to Port of Spain. Oh, my wife heard me one day on the phone, arguing with the conference official. I said, I in good faith came from Toko to Tong, mm -hmm. from Rio to Tong. My wife is ill. Can you transfer us? I went to visit the same secretary hmm. and he said to me, Pastor, if you and your wife can't handle the pressure now, how would you handle it when the hard time comes? Wow. Hmm. Obviously, if you reject me as I, I woke up for God, you wouldn't want to ordain me. You wouldn't want to, you know, and when my wife hear me argue with them on the phone, I had lost it that day. I said, I said, I'm a faithful worker. I'm a faithful worker. Why can't you try? My wife will die. She soon went to America for medical. She said, honey, it's okay. I'll stay with your cloud. Mm -hmm. Don't lose your soul over this. Hmm. At the same time, there was experience in Separia. Any question before I... Not yet. Remember I talked about counterfeit. Yes. yes. There was a pastor Hitler. The church should not forget these encounters. God gave it to us for our warning and yes. for our future experience. Yes, amen. He was an ex-professor at CUC, mm -hmm. now USC. He was in charge of the ministerial studies. He was having a similar encounter with a young lady in Separia. Hers was just doing more wonders. I was told by a member because I'm from that area. At one time, she cursed a living tree, and the next day, it was dead. Hmm. They were having a meeting one night. A crusade was going on, and they fell for a night off. And she pointed to the electrical bulb, and all the lighting in Separia turned off that night, so they got a night off. Hmm. The conference removed them as they removed me. The mistake he made was to oppose it. And they dropped him. Oh. So for his, the months before he, di he died in the district, he wasn't on a, a salary. I, I'm going to say a word before I close on how we should handle these experiences, mm -hmm. as opposed to how we may choose to handle it. Otherwise. We went to America. We went to. Venezuela for a ministerial retreat. The then Bible worker was in Venezuela. 
-hmm. Because of my experience, my wife and I had arrived at four Bible principles to test the claim of prophetic gift. Mm -hmm. One was time. One was your life. We discover where you should give people time to see what you see. Mm -hmm. So don't condemn them. Don't write them off. Don't be angry with the pastors of the conference. I was never angry with these guys. Because of something new. Mm -hmm. The difference is that we have to learn to present each other before God when we don't understand what's happening, mm. as opposed to jump to conclusion mm. and criticize. Because, because we can we can we, we can easily aid the enemy in what he's doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I took her in a chapel in a church in Venezuela, two of us alone. Discussed with her four Bible principles that told me the experience in South was a counterfeit. Said, Pastor, I'm going back to refute it. To my amazement, when she came in a meeting with this young lady who was the person getting mm -hmm. what are you? She told the Bible worker every word of my counsel given in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. So I, I need to, to get clarity, Pastor. Yes. Just to make sure that we're on the same page. So you're saying that you counseled somebody in Venezuela. The Bible worker at that time. The Bible worker in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And then when you came to Trinidad, the person who professed to have the prophetic gift told the Bible worker exactly what you told her in Venezuela. That's what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Good. Hmm. Good one. And, mm -hmm. and the woman told her, they're getting a vision, that my experience is of the devil. Oh, wow. And not there. The pastor died. Pray God that he make it to resurrection morning. The funeral was held at Stanmore Avenue Church. I was there. In the midst of the funeral, one of the group members of that team stood up, raised male or female. The woman predicted that the pastor will come back from the dead. <laughs> I remember one pastor saying, Pastor, if God weren't here with his angel, the devil would have come to feed a resurrection. Mm -hmm. And he looked at him before Jesus came. He woke marvelous wonders. Mm -hmm. My servant Hitler come to life. There was a hush. But nothing happened. He was buried. I will do part two. How this saga played out? Pastor, there's a cliffhanger. <laughs> no, I like it. I shared because God told me to share it. Not for me. I have no pain. I have no issue with anybody. I believe the Adventist community needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. I believe that pastors, conference presidents, leaders need to understand that God is going to use unconventional methods before the end comes. And our approach in dealing with workers, church members, must be divinely inspired. Mm -hmm. Don't be critical. I remember one day at CUC, I went to have lunch with some pastors, and they were criticizing Pastor Hitler. I said, men, don't criticize this pastor. I said, we read the Bible every day. Wasn't Eve deceived? Mm -hmm. Didn't she listen to a serpent? Mm -hmm. And Eve lived in a perfect environment. There was nothing within us for the devil to pull. We have childhood abuse, broken homes, unhappy marriages. I said, that's a man we should be praying for. Yeah. Outside this conference, secretary, I got no ministerial support, no visits, no call. That should change. If you perceive pastors and a fellow colleagues may be deceived by the devil, put your knees down, visit him. Ministers will tell me, I remember in Venezuela, I was rooming with some conference official and they say, pastor, we believe that you have gone to extreme. We believe that your ministry is imbalanced. Those things hurt me, you know. 
in my district, our tithe income was the highest in the conference in terms of mm -hmm. membership. Our orphan was more than the tithe. Mm -hmm. Our membership more than doubled. Mm -hmm. Members were visiting. I trained the elders. They were having more success than before. Is that a minister who is imbalanced? Mm -hmm. There were evidence in the district that the man was working. I knew where all my members live. After one year, we had 99.9 .9 of the members baptized in church. After two years, just one member was, was missing. The conservation rate was the highest in this conference. Mm -hmm. Yet I was accused of being imbalanced and focusing more on demons. I suffered more than you can imagine, but there is absolutely no pain. None whatsoever. I'm sharing this because God told me to share it for the benefit of conference president, pastors, administrators. Let us present our workers to God. You observe a pastor going through something, call him in. Mm -hmm. Pray with him. Don't transfer him to the next district. Battle with him. Counsel with him. Because these are the last days. I was going to read one or two statements before I close. The attack of the devil on the Advent church in this country, through me, Pastor Hitler, or whoever, should, should be repeated to the younger generation so that he wouldn't do the same against them. Nowhere in scripture does God hide the cosmic battle between light and darkness. He hid nothing. David, he exposed it. Solomon, he exposed it. We have a way of hiding. The thing that we don't like or we are ashamed about is not the will of God. And I feel positive today that the Holy Ghost have inspired me to share this testimony. Hoping that my brethren, my fellow pastors, conference leaders around the wherever you are, right, can learn a few things. And not to condemn people who claim to have vision. If a member claims to have vision, it's either God or Satan. That should solicit your all our support and prayers and counsel. I've had occasion when nationwide prayer was called for for ministers who were sick. The time to call for nationwide prayer is when the enemy is targeting a pastor, like Pastor Hitler and Separia. Transferring is not enough. Pray for this man. Pray for him. Wait on the Lord. We have not handled these things well. And God wants us to learn from my experience for the next time around. Bible characters didn't handle it well. And God put it there for our own learning and for examples. Yes. So read for me again. Huh? This is taken from Councils to the Church, pages 323 and 324. The experience of the past will be repeated. Mm -hmm. In the future, Satan's superstitions will assume new forms. Errors will be presented in a pleasing and flattering manner. False theories clothed with garments of light will be presented to God's people. Thus, Satan will try to deceive, if possible, the very elect. Most seducing influences will be exerted. Minds will be hypnotized. If it is those who have had the most light that Satan most assiduously seeks to ensnare. But if it is those... Sorry, yes, it is those who have had the most light that Satan most assiduously seeks to ensnare. He knows that if he can deceive them, they will, under his control, clothe sin with garments of righteousness and lead many astray. I say to all, be on your guard, for as an angel of light, Satan is walking in every assembly of Christian workers and in every church trying to win the members to his side. I am bidden to give the people of God a warning. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Galatians 7. The saints must get a thorough understanding of present truth, which they will be obliged to maintain from the scriptures. They must understand the state of the dead, for the spirits of devils will yet appear to them, professing to be beloved friends and relatives who will declare to them that the Sabbath has been changed and also other unscriptural doctrines. Early writings, page 87. 
Under the Garb of Christianity, Manuscript Releases, Volume 8, page 346. We are approaching the end of this is history, oh, yes, and Satan is working as never before. Beautiful. He is striving to act as director of the Christian world. With an intensity that is marvelous, he is working with his lying wonders. Satan is represented as walking about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He desires to embrace the whole world in his confederacy. Hiding his deformity under the garb of Christianity, he assumes the attributes of a Christian and claims to be Christ himself. The word of God declares that when it suits the enemy's purpose, he will, through his agencies, manifest so great a power under a pretense of Christianity that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay, you can stop there. Some more we can explain. Okay, folks. Um, well, we have heard it. Another a mind blowing, mind teasing <laughs> testimony. Uh, stay tuned for part two. You know, before we pray, um, I want to ask the viewers to pray. Pray for a conference. Before pastors, before leaders, pray for yourself. Because we know that the devil is like a ruin line. Yes. And none of us want to be deceived. You know, the Bible says, test the spirit. Many a times we see people, whether we, they are Adventists or non Adventists, speak about going places and getting healing, and who's really doing the healing? Hmm. Hmm. So let's pray that God will give us eye salve and wisdom and discernment Amen. and that we will continue to be in the world, that he will lead us into all truth. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you have inspired your man servant to give this testimony. And even as he gave the testimony of God, we all listened and were in awe at the things that someone might think it's just child's play. Many a times we hear of people's experiences and put it by the wayside thinking that it may be something that they made up or something that's in their mind. But Father, we know that God is real. Mm. and so is the devil mm -hmm. so we ask even now father in the name of jesus that you give us the eye salve that is needed take the scales off of our eyes that we may know when it is you give us wisdom and discernment lord mm -hmm. that we would stand on your word Knowing, O oh God, that your word is true. Amen. Help us to walk in the light that you have called us to walk in. Hmm. Help us, O oh God, to know when darkness is around. Hmm. That we would continue to allow you to lead. Yes. Help us not to be swayed by miracles or men with fancy talk. Hmm. But Lord, we will continue to delve into your word that you will do what you need to do with us yes. and through us. Amen. Father, we pray, oh God, that you would continue to be with Pastor Reed. Continue to use him to your honor and glory, that your will will be done in this man's life, that he would continue to edify, he would continue to love, he would continue to showcase the power that you have in his life as he continues to surrender. Yes, be with the lift team in a special way, Lord. Touch every member and use every member to your honor and glory. Mm -hmm. Father, I bring each person that would listen to this testimony, oh, yes. that they would delve into your word for themselves, Lord, yes, Lord, and allow your spirit to lead and guide and direct. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we are asking that you take control of us 
Take control of your conference. Take control of your pastors. Take control of each member. Take control of each person that may not know you, that look upon this testimony, that we would all run to you. Amen. So, Father, once again, we thank you. We honor you, we glorify and magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.